Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is a 10 minute fat burning workout at home. It's the time of year, everybody's looking for some fat burning. There's Baxter. You might see Pippa and Baxter walking around. I'll get them involved, don't worry. So, what we're looking for is 45 seconds work, 15 seconds rest, or five different exercises. Running on the spot, jumping jacks, mountain climbers, ice skaters, and a frog squat jump. So this one's all about getting the heart rate up and working really hard in a short amount of time. Two rounds of those five exercises as quickly as you can, okay? So what we're gonna go for is a quick warm up. So just follow me, first of all, with big arm circles around. See if your arms can touch your ears in big circles. And now let's rotate at the hips for big rotations. Take nice deep breaths. We're just gonna mobilize across the body, first of all, before we then work really hard. This is good for preventing injury. And go for side bends as well, reaching over the head, whilst the other hand reaches down to the floor. Okay, and now, reach down to the floor, and then walk out with the hands to a plank position. Push back into that downward dog. Walk the heels slightly. And then walk your hands back up. Stand back up and reach. And down you go again. Reach the floor. Walk forwards. Push back into the downward dog. And now let's step the left foot up outside the left hand. Good. Keep your heel down and get that big stretch in the groin and hamstrings and hip flexors. Step back and switch legs on to the right side. You see I'm always moving around big circles. That's it. And now step back, walk your hands back, and up we come. All right, okay, so 45 seconds work on each exercise, starting with running on the spot. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Running on the spot, 45 seconds, and you can go as hard or as fast as you want. This is a really good one because you can go whatever level you want. Use your arms and your legs and your heart rate will start getting up higher. See that? Use your arms to get the legs going. Take nice deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, all the way for 45 seconds. Keep the pace up and rest there. 15 seconds rest. Deep breaths. We want to work really hard in those 45 seconds. Rest in this 15 seconds. Next, we're going for a star jump. Okay, you ready? Out nice and wide with both arms and both legs. And then jumping back into the middle. Again, with this, just like the jogging, you can pick up the speed and go as fast as you want. If this is tough, and you can do just small ones here if it's tough in the ankles or the knees. But if you're feeling good, then go nice and wide, bouncing on the toes. All the way to the end of 45 seconds, and rest. Well done, feeling it already, getting hot. Exercise three, we're gonna go into uh, a frog squat jump. Feet nice and wide, reaching down, touch the floor, then jump, okay? Down we go, touch the floor, and leave the floor. This one will burn the legs. You see I'm jumping, then landing, and then repeating. If you have the fitness to continue like this, then great. If that's really tough, land, reset yourself, and go again. Keep your feet flat on the ground. And 
and if it's tough to reach the floor, then just reach halfway. Remember, make this all about you and where your level is right now. Getting stronger and fitter is your personal goal. Rest there. Exercise four is a nice skater. You're on one leg here, so you jump to the other side and keep springing back and forth. If it's tough, you can just step and pick all like this one. You ready? Let's go. Little jump, land softly and spring back. Nice and wide. How wide can you go? This is all about the hips stabilizing the movement, strong glutes, the back of your legs. If it's tough, then step. That's fine. Step. Step is still good. If you can jump and land, even better. And rest. Well done. Last exercise, down on the ground into mountain climbers. 45 seconds from a push-up position, we're driving the knees up into our chest. Are you ready? 45 seconds, let's go. Knees up nice and high, shoulders above your hands, not much bouncing, all in your core. Lock out the arms, strong, Wrists and elbows, shoulders. And think about the stomach, the core working to drive those knees up. Almost there, and rest. Well done, that's five exercises. No rest, we're gonna go straight into it. Drink whenever you can, whenever you want to, but make sure you do. You're halfway, we're gonna repeat that again. Into the running, let's go. 45 seconds, round two, to finish our 10 minute workout. And if you've got the fitness to run faster with high knees and stronger arms, then do so. Almost there. Five seconds now. And rest. Well done, exercise two into the star jumps. Are you ready? Deep breaths in. Recover. Ready for 45 seconds of hard work. Let's go, star jumps. And your main goal here is to never stop working. Keep working, don't stop. Even if you have to decrease the intensity and just do small movements to recover, that's fine. But just don't stop. Keep going. Ooh, five seconds now. And rest. Oh well done, exercise three. Where were we? My skaters jumping from side to side. No, there's a squat first. It doesn't matter what order, who cares? But we're going for the squat. Are you ready? Reaching down, jumping up. Let's go. You can touch the floor, great. That's good mobility as well as strength. You may wonder what this flooring is all about. We're waiting for our carpet in a couple of months, like a couple of weeks really. It will look much nicer. Keep going. Woo, almost there. 
through the burn. Don't stop working. Drop the hips nice and low. Keep your heels on the floor. Oh, ouch, rest there. Hold on. Okay, now we're on the ice skaters, jumping side to side. Just get those glutes going. Heart rate is up. We're burning fat, people. Let's go. And you see my other leg trails behind. If you can do that naturally, then great. When you land, land soft. Soft leg, suspend the movement, and then catapult back to the other side. Ten seconds, keep going. Almost there. Two, one, rest. Oh yeah, this is it, last exercise. Down on the ground. Oh, I can feel it. Maybe I was too good for myself for Christmas. Too many treats. Let's burn it off now. Here we go. 45 seconds. Mountain climbers. Knees up. Knees up. And as high as they come. Tempt your abs. Lock out the arms. Push your chest forwards. Push it right to the end now. This is what matters. Last few reps. Oh yeah, keep going. Two. One, rest. Oh my God, great work. Well done everyone, 10 minutes of intense training. Great, there's always time for hit training. Isn't there Baxter? No, Baxter's lazy, just sits around the house. Anyway, that's the workout done. Make sure you drink lots of water, have a little stretch, and make sure you focus on your diet and nutrition all of this hard work is great, but the best results and fat loss you're going to have is what you eat and how active your overall day is. It's good to see Baxter exercising for once. So, that was a physical tip. Let me give you a mental tip as well. Something I was thinking about today is take your mind back to some time ago that you were successful at something. And when you're successful at something, Remind yourself of what were your thoughts, what were your actions, what were your daily rituals, what was your habits that you did every single day. And quite often, success leaves clues, even if it's your own clues from the past. I use this for myself all the time, whether it's dropping body fat, getting lean, or getting more mobile, is that I have to think about, okay, I was successful before, what was I doing? And that helps me repeat what I was doing beforehand and follow out the same habits. So, I hope today's workout and video helps you. Make sure you comment below, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you haven't already, I'll see you in the next video. From myself, Pickle and Baxter, bye bye.